Women's Voices Now is a nonprofit that uses film to drive positive social change to help progress women's and girls' rights around the world. And we do that through three different programs. We have a film festival, we have a youth summer program called Girls' Voices Now, and we have a free online film collection. Because of film, we're able to inspire people to hopefully move them, we say, from empathy to action. As we're sharing our stories, we are demanding to be at this table. Our whole mission is to uplift women who create documentary films that help move and create social impact in the world. By supporting and specifically focusing on women documentary films, we create an entire conversation around what women filmmakers are able to do, but also the issues that they focus on supporting. So that's really exciting. And the Emmy goes to... Girls' Voices Now, here TV! <laughs> I love our youth program. It's our youth summer program, and girls from the ages 14 to 18 are able to participate. They usually come from under-resourced neighborhoods in Los Angeles, and they get to learn how to create social change film documentaries for the first time ever. It's a beautiful program because they're able to see the power of their voices. The end has definitely been once in a lifetime. I, I sometimes feel like I don't even have that like authority to say once in a lifetime because I'm only 16. But then I look back at the entire summer and I was like, I would have never imagined I would have done everything I did and like met the people I met and like shared those experiences and feelings in just like a span of five weeks to me. That was like something, not even in the movies, they don't show that. And I, I thought it was so cool. Going into the program, it was like, no, your voice matters, like your story matters, like go out there, go get a camera, go, go shoot whatever you think matters. I directed a film called um, Ija Callada, it's translated in Spanish to Silent Daughter. It's about generational trauma amongst three Hispanic women across LA County. And then I interviewed my mom for one of the scenes and I was like, oh, I cried. Hoy día yo veo las mujeres Como tú, tus hermanas se expresan, eh, se expresan abiertamente y con la cara en alto. En nuestros tiempos podíamos expresarnos, pero bajando la mirada. And even looking back now, I'm like, this is such a vulnerable moment. I'm not sure I want the world to see it, but I, I know that the amount of people that it's going to change, it's like it's necessary, and it's also necessary for my own personal growth to realize that like. We need to get this out there, and that when it gets out there, we could fix it. Every single time I walk out into the world, like from like my little house over there in Pasadena, I know that I'm telling a story, and that story matters, and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing, and that's why I'm excited. But I even like took part of the program because like it needs to be done, and I'm the one doing it. So it's really cool. County supporting this is an amazing investment in recognition really in what the power of film and the power of female filmmakers have. I think that's what gives us a huge boost from this sort of support. Not only is it the financial monetary support that a small scrappy organization like ours needs, but it's also affirmation that what we're doing is catalyzing a whole realm of change making possibilities. And for the county to see film as such a vital asset to democracy in the long run, we're increasing public participation because people are seeing something that they're moved by. And then able to go affect change on. That, to us, is just the partnership of dreams. 